Hey guys, come with me to my laundromat where my vending machines have made $11,867.05. Today we're going to see how much we can add to that total. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Today's another gorgeous day in Ohio where the sun is shining and I'm so excited to show you guys how much money my vending machine made today. In today's collection, we are going to get to the vending machine, but in the meantime, I'm going to go through and change out my washers and dryers. We're not going to do a real super accurate count today, but I have to go and get all the quarters I possibly can because the machine's about ready to run out again. The laundromat business is up a ton and I gotta do this quick before more customers arrive and before I can deal with the vending machines. Would you like to win up to $5,000 today? Today's video sponsor, North One Bank, is giving away $10,000 to new businesses who open up a new account and deposit at least $50 and you're entered to win the grand prize of $5,000 or a prize of $500. North One is a phenomenal bank for small businesses. I know a lot of people watch my videos to watch me count money, but the thing is, it takes a lot of time. That's why an online bank like North One works so well. You can apply for their business bank account in as little as three minutes. The thing I love about North One is they make it easy to start sub accounts in case you want to save for a laundromat or a new car wash. It's super easy to send payments through wires, ACH, and card payments. And they integrate with all of the good software out there like QuickBooks, FreshBooks, Stripes, and PayPal. And the best part is you'll never have to step in a bank again. Check them out in the link below. So a spoonie may have broken this lock on us. During one of my last collection videos, I tried and tried and twisted a key off in this and have spent quite a bit of time trying to find the replacement key to fix it. And then we're gonna go over to the big washer and I already dumped the quarters in from this because we're in an emergency. This one always makes a lot of money. I, I cycled the quarters like an hour ago and started using $18 out of this one. So that's super cool. This washer, we hadn't emptied this, this bucket would be almost full at this point, which is crazy. Today, we're finally getting the quarter pusher emptied. It hadn't been emptied in a while, and we need the money out of here soon. <laughs> 
So I ended up getting almost $1,000 out of the quarter pusher, which was totally cool. But this ATM is really giving me some grief. So now I kind of want one. I really want to buy some ATM machines. And let me know in the comment section if you have ever run an ATM business. I ran into a guy that's making $150,000 a month off his ATM business. So I really want to get in it. I've heard it's a really good hustle. Oh my goodness. This isn't super high precision, but it's pretty good. It's $20 a pound. I'm starting to throw my back out. Holy crap. So 56 pounds. So that's $1,120 we've made today in quarters. It's incredible. And I show that we're almost out of change. And I lift down on here and there's only like, there's like 10 bucks in here. I've been to the laundromat already today and had to throw in like $100 worth of quarters. And we made like an extra $30 while I went and had lunch, which is really cool. Um, I'm super excited about the fact that I went and had lunch. I made like $35 here. Oh my goodness. Oh. And here's me throwing quarters back in the machine by myself. I throw my back out doing this, or I get, I get close to throwing the back, my back out because this is a 56 pound uh, bucket of quarters and the bucket wiggles, the machine wiggles, and by, be, when I jumble them, it gets crazy. And that's the leftover quarters I have from the 1,120 quarters. So, so now I'm at this point with the laundromat. Really cool. I'm having to come down here super often, and it's getting really a hassle to keep coming down here, refilling the safe and putting more money in it. We're almost ready to install our brand new coin machine here, but um, we've got to secure it a little bit better than this one is currently done. I'm now making multiple oh bucket runs between the vending machines and the safe. It's getting crazy. Click me, right? So we've got 240 bucks left. I have to relock the machines so that people can't get free runs on the machines because I see that customers are getting ready to come in. We're gonna go here and I'm going to actually go through and uh, get money from my arcade machine. And here's the top, uh, the coin acceptor. We use that for maintenance and whatnot. And the quarters go in the top and they go, We the quarters come in the top, they go through the, the quarter validator. And here's how much we got in quarters for the arcade machine. Now we're gonna go through and get our, snack vending machine as it stands right now i no longer get i no longer stock this machine and we're constantly trying now to find good choices for the machine like in terms of honey buns and doritos and these can the candy here on screen does super well my margins on candy aren't as good as um, crunchy snacks and but um it sells like crazy my cost basis on average for the vending machine the snack machines like 40% of gross sales, and then my drink machine's 35% of gross sales. So here we are on my $600 Coke machine that we paid off a long time ago. I have a lot of people and they keep asking me about how much electric does a machine use like this? And it's like 10 or $15 a month. I also get asked constantly, how much do I spend on repairs? And to be honest with you, I don't even keep track because it's so little. I'm guessing between 20 and $50 since July, 2019. Look at all those quarters. I am so happy. And this Pepsi machine is now at certain points starting to beat out my drink machine. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was really weird. So I don't know why that that drink was sitting there. So this Pepsi machine, I didn't get it. I didn't pay anything for it. It was free with the laundromat. It did belong to the, the Pepsi distributor, but uh, it was seized because they did not come and get it for years and years and years. So when I bought the place, I got the title to it, which is kind of cool. We have this problem. This guy came in and got like $30 worth of quarters. And I was kind of, I, I talked to the guy for like 10 minutes. Um, there's a rumor that somebody from Speedway is coming in every morning to my laundromat and getting a bunch of quarters. And I was suspecting that maybe he was a business owner, but he's not. He came to my laundromat and I kid you not, he put $20 in my change machine over here. He came out to the front and is buying $20 worth of pop today and he's putting them in a duffel bag i don't know i don't i'm not going to ask any questions as to why he's putting pop in a duffel bag 
I am thrilled. But he just spent $20 after the collection on the video today. So here is my Vin or my coin counting kiosk. And we're going to go through and see how many quarters, nickels, and dimes we got. And here very soon, the machine will auto magically count quarters, nickels, and dimes in just one go and save me tons of time. So in quarters alone, that's 247.75. Now we'll do nickels and dimes. So this is the dime count. We'll start. So here was the culprit, a freaking corroded penny. That's what jammed it up. So here's the dime count. It will work. We have to remove 19 from it. Cool. 43 bucks. Nice. So we'll stop that here. Um, we'll take the last count because I had to resort to fix. Then plus 9.91 and quarters, and we will take it and uh, figure out what the total is. And I'm saving these two for the kid uh, that lives upstairs at the laundromat. He's going to have fun. So he made like what 20 some dollars today in today's count. So that's cool. So here are the dollar bills from the vending machines. We want to do a count real quick. This is like right about a week. Cool. So we're going to do the numbers on screen and we're going to talk about how much money we made. So in today's count, we did two forty-seven seventy-five and quarters, $7.65 in nickels, and then $43 in dimes. But we do have to take $19 off of the dimes since that was from a prior count. We also add $152 in $1 bills. For a gross total of $450.40, we take away 19, we end at $434.40. This puts us near the $12,000 mark for my vending business. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and I can't wait to show you the next amount of revenue we collect.